when the human genome was completed. Was I surprised that we're made only 23,000 genes? Absolutely. A worm that we go fishing with, 75,000 genes, a plant, 150,000 genes. So the question was, how we can explain the complexity of where we are? It was clearly that the human genome was the tip of the iceberg. We learned a lot over the last 50 years. We've cured a lot of problems, but there are these diseases of human progress, the ones that elude us, the Alzheimer's, the autisms. There must be other elements. The human microbiome is the vast collection of microorganisms that inhabit every surface and cavity of the human body. Trillions of microbial cells that are living on our skin, in our gut, in our, in our nose, in our airways, in our urogenital tract. There is this ecosystem that's a major and previously uncharacterized part of us that is playing this major role. There have been so many studies published on the association between changes in the microbiome and disease. I would say that it's, it's difficult for somebody like myself, who's a microbiome scientist, to even keep up. The analogy I've often thought about is how we went from the Ptolemaic to the Copernican view of the world. At the cosmic level, the macro level, it was really hard to say that you know, man is on this planet, just part of a much larger picture. Now we're saying man is affected by, maybe even ruled by, these microscopic we can't see. That's a really hard thing to incorporate. What we're seeing today is a paradigm shift of uh, our understanding of what's actually going on inside our bodies. And this is a completely new way of thinking about human health.